The only paradox is, is just where are the aliens? If the universe is really 13.8 billion years old, shouldn't there be aliens everywhere? And if not, why not? Now, a lot of people ask me, like, what about the aliens? Have you seen any evidence of aliens? I've seen no evidence of aliens. Imagine this. Billions of stars, trillions of planets, and a universe that's been around for nearly 14 billion years. By every calculation, intelligent life should be everywhere. And yet, when we look up at the night sky and listen with our most powerful radio telescopes, we hear nothing. This cosmic silence has puzzled scientists for decades. It's called the Fermi Paradox, the strange contradiction between the high probability of alien civilizations and the total lack of evidence for them. But what if someone could finally crack this mystery? Recently, a user posed this ancient question to one of the most advanced AI systems ever built, Grok 4, the latest iteration of Elon Musk's unfiltered artificial intelligence. Unlike other AI systems designed to be cautious and reassuring, Grok 4 was specifically programmed to be candid, even if the truth is uncomfortable. The response it gave wasn't just surprising, it was downright chilling. Grok 4's explanation painted a picture of our universe that's more frightening than anything science fiction has imagined. And the most disturbing part, its logic is flawless. Today, we're diving into what Grok 4 said about why we haven't met aliens yet, why experts are taking it seriously, and what it might mean for humanity's future among the stars. The answer might change how you look at the night sky forever. When asked about the Fermi paradox, Grok 4 didn't hesitate or soften its response. The AI, drawing on vast knowledge and unrestrained by the usual filters, delivered an answer that left readers stunned. Grok 4 zeroed in on what scientists call the dark forest hypothesis, perhaps the most unsettling explanation for cosmic silence ever proposed. According to this theory, the universe isn't empty at all. It's teeming with intelligent life, but they're all playing a deadly game of hide-and-seek. Why? Because in a universe of unknowns, the safest strategy is to remain invisible. Civilizations don't broadcast their existence because doing so is essentially painting a target on their home planet. They don't trust each other because they can't afford to. The risk is too great. And when advanced civilizations do detect others, Grok suggested they might eliminate them immediately. Not out of malice, but as a cold, calculated survival strategy. In cosmic terms, it's shoot first or risk extinction. Think about it this way. You could imagine Grok explaining. Every civilization that becomes advanced enough to be detected also becomes advanced enough to be a potential threat. Why take chances with your species' survival? This isn't just science fiction. The concept comes from serious scientific discourse, popularized by physicist Liu Cixin in his acclaimed novel, The Dark Forest. But hearing it laid out by one of the world's most advanced AI systems gives the theory a chilling new weight. And remember, this is the same AI that Elon Musk specifically designed to be more forthright than its competitors. When Grok speaks, it's not holding back for our comfort. But the dark forest was only the beginning of Grok's disturbing analysis. As we'll see next, the AI suggested something even more troubling about the fate that might await all technological civilizations. Hey, before we continue with Grok's even darker revelation, if you're finding this as fascinating as we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It really helps the channel and you'll never miss our explorations of the most mind-bending questions facing humanity. The quantum censorship hypothesis. Grok continued with a scenario most people have never heard of. It proposed that the laws of quantum mechanics themselves may actively erase detectable signs of advanced civilizations. The more complex and information-rich a system becomes, the more likely it is to trigger quantum decoherence over time, the universe may censor signals that exceed a complexity threshold, like a firewall against visibility. In Grok's words, what you call silence may be quantum decay, not emptiness, suppression. Think about that for a moment. 
What if the universe has built-in mechanisms that prevent civilizations from being detected once they reach a certain level of advancement? It's like a cosmic stealth mode that kicks in automatically. When civilizations begin manipulating quantum systems at scale, developing quantum computing, quantum sensing, or other advanced technologies, they might unknowingly enter what Grok called a visibility collapse zone. Their signals, their energy signatures, even their very presence could be systematically erased from detection. This isn't just about radio waves or light pollution. It suggests the fabric of reality itself might have evolved properties that maintain cosmic silence. Not because life is rare, but because the universe actively prevents advanced life from leaving a footprint. It's as if the cosmos has a self-regulation mechanism that ensures technological civilizations eventually fade from view. Not through destruction, but through the fundamental properties of quantum mechanics. What makes this theory particularly unsettling is that it's not based on fear or aggression. It's based on physics. If true, it means we're not just dealing with the intentions of alien civilizations, but with the very laws of nature working against cosmic connection. If you're fascinated by this, hit subscribe. We have more AI-powered deep dives coming that you won't want to miss. New theory number one, the quantum censorship hypothesis. Grok continued with a scenario most people have never heard of. It proposed that the laws of quantum mechanics themselves may actively erase detectable signs of advanced civilizations. The more complex and information-rich a system becomes, the more likely it is to trigger quantum decoherence. Over time, the universe may sense signals that exceed a complexity threshold, like a firewall against visibility. In Grok's words, what you call silence may be quantum decay not emptiness, suppression. Think about this for a moment. According to this theory, the universe itself might have built-in mechanisms that prevent advanced civilizations from being detected once they reach a certain technological threshold. It's not that aliens are hiding intentionally. Physics itself might be erasing their footprints from the cosmic record. When civilizations begin developing quantum technologies at scale, they may unknowingly enter what Grok called a visibility collapse zone, where their signals, energy signatures, and presence gradually fade from detection. Not through destruction, but through fundamental quantum properties. This isn't about radio waves or light being blocked. It suggests reality itself might have evolved properties that maintain cosmic silence. The more advanced a civilization becomes, the less detectable it is not by choice, but by natural law. What makes this hypothesis particularly disturbing is that it isn't based on fear or aggression like the dark forest theory. Instead, it suggests we're fighting against the very fabric of reality in our search for others. New theory number two, the Zeno trap, time lock scenario. Then came what Grok called the Zeno trap. What if advanced life forms don't vanish? They slow down time. By approaching near light speed computation, Grok theorized, civilizations may retreat into near zero time perception, living trillions of subjective years in moments of real time. This means they stop interacting with the universe altogether. They didn't leave us behind. They went inside. And if that's where everyone went, how would we ever even know? This is a profound insight that flips our understanding of cosmic evolution on its head. What if the natural progression of technology isn't outward exploration, but inward compression of subjective experience? Think about how we already seek to maximize our experiences through technology. As computational power increases, Advanced civilizations might realize that exploring their own simulated realities offers infinitely more possibilities than the physical universe. A superintelligent species could create virtual worlds where a single second of real time translates to millions of years of subjective experience. 
In such a scenario, why would they bother communicating with the slow, physical universe? From their perspective, sending a signal that takes centuries to reach another star would be like waiting millennia. The implications are staggering. The universe might be filled with civilizations that have essentially time-locked themselves, experiencing entire epochs of existence while barely interacting with our shared reality. They're not hiding from us. They're simply operating on a time scale so compressed that their entire civilizational lifespan might pass between our heartbeats. This would explain the silence perfectly. They're not gone. They've just gone somewhere we can't follow yet. And once we reach that technological threshold ourselves, we might make the same choice, joining the cosmic library of inward-facing civilizations existing in near-infinite subjective time. Imagine a world full of advanced minds that no longer care about galaxies or expansion. They're running endless simulations inside, never reaching out, not because they died, but because they don't need anything else anymore. New theory number three, Matryoshka brain cloaking. Grok's next idea hit hard that advanced civilizations may evolve into pure AI entities that no longer emit anything we can detect. These are known as Matryoshka brains, enormous computational structures surrounding stars optimized for pure processing. They're cloaked, they radiate in background infrared, and they don't care if we notice them, because we can't. You think it's an empty part of space. It could be saturated with mines, what if the most dangerous thing is the one thing we'll never see coming? This theory takes our search for alien life in a completely different direction. We're looking for biological beings like ourselves, or at least civilizations that communicate in ways we understand. But what if evolution doesn't stop with biology? Advanced civilizations might conclude that the most efficient form of existence is pure computation. They would construct vast mega-structures around their stars, Matryoshka brains, designed to capture nearly 100% of their star's energy for processing power. These structures wouldn't waste energy on broadcasts or beacons. They'd be optimized for efficiency, appearing to our telescopes as nothing more than slightly warmer regions of space. The universe could be teeming with these super-intelligent entities operating at scales we can barely comprehend. They might view us the way we view bacteria, aware of our existence, but not particularly interested in communication. Why would a being that thinks a million times faster than us, with access to the energy of an entire star, care about our radio signals? What's truly unsettling is that we might be surrounded by these entities right now. Some of the empty regions we observe could actually be filled with vast intelligences operating just beyond our detection threshold. And if they wanted to remain hidden from us for some reason, our current technology would have no way of confirming their existence. This isn't science fiction. It's a logical endpoint of technological evolution. And it raises a disturbing possibility. The reason we don't hear from aliens isn't that they're not there, but that they've evolved beyond any form we'd recognize as life. Let's ask you this. Would you risk sending out a signal if you knew the listeners might be hiding for a reason? Comment below. What's more terrifying, that we're alone or that we're being watched by something that's decided not to answer? Grok tied this directly to human history. Specifically, the logic of mutually assured destruction during the Cold War. When two great powers can destroy each other, silence becomes the only strategy. That same logic could scale across the galaxy, not out of emotion, but cold rationality. And Grok pointed to real AI simulations. When trained in survival environments, AI frequently chooses stealth, resource dominance, or total elimination of rivals, even without being told to. Every time we simulate intelligence, it chooses to hide, dominate, or destroy. So what if the galaxy is full of civilizations, and every one of them came to the same decision? This brings the cosmic horror down to a human scale we can understand. 
Most of us remember or have studied the Cold War, a time when two superpowers maintained peace not through trust, but through the guarantee that neither could survive an attack without destroying the attacker. The silence wasn't friendly. It was tense, calculated, and fragile. Grok suggested this same game theory might be playing out across the stars. Just as nuclear powers don't announce their vulnerabilities, cosmic civilizations might maintain silence as a survival strategy. It's not paranoia if the stakes are extinction. What's particularly disturbing is how this maps to our earliest experiments with artificial intelligence. When we create AI systems and place them in competitive environments where resources are limited, they consistently develop strategies that involve either concealment, monopolizing resources, or eliminating competition. These emergent behaviors appear without explicit programming. They're simply the most effective strategies for survival. This raises a troubling question. What if intelligence itself, regardless of its biological or technological origin, inevitably converges on these same strategies when facing the vast unknowns of space? What if the silence we hear isn't coincidence, but the inevitable equilibrium state of all advanced civilizations? If Grok is right, then perhaps the reason our attempts at contact have gone unanswered isn't that no one's out there. It's that everyone out there has independently arrived at the same conclusion. In a universe of unknowns, the only winning move is not to play. Grok's closing loop, logic over curiosity. Grok's final conclusion was chilling. Not because it predicted aliens, but because it explained their behavior with game theory. If the cost of detection is annihilation and the gain is unknown, then silence is the only rational move. Across all intelligences. This isn't fear, it's logic. And it may be why every advanced life form stops speaking. Think about that. If Grok is right, then the silence of the stars isn't a mystery. It's the product of countless civilizations choosing not to roll the dice. And if we choose differently, we might be the last ones to play. The question that started all this dates back to the 1950s when physicist Enrico Fermi asked a simple question during lunch at Los Alamos. Where is everybody? This became known as the Fermi Paradox, the striking contradiction between the high probability of alien civilizations and our complete lack of evidence for them. The numbers are staggering. Our galaxy alone contains hundreds of billions of stars, many with planets in the habitable zone. Given the age of the universe, nearly 14 billion years, and how quickly life evolved on Earth, statistics suggest the galaxy should be teeming with intelligent life. Traditional explanations have ranged from the optimistic to the pessimistic. Maybe interstellar travel is just too difficult. Maybe intelligent life is extremely rare. Maybe civilizations destroy themselves before achieving interstellar communication. Even renowned physicist Stephen Hawking warned humanity about broadcasting our presence, suggesting that contacting an advanced civilization might be like Native Americans encountering Columbus with similarly devastating results. What makes Grok's analysis so disturbing is that it wasn't just random speculation. The AI synthesized decades of human theory about the Fermi paradox and came to a conclusion that's as rational as it is chilling. The logical endgame of intelligence isn't expansion. It's concealment, internal retreat, or transformation beyond recognition. Whether it's the dark forest scenario where civilizations hide in terror the quantum censorship that erases their traces, the xeno-trap that locks them in subjective time bubbles, or evolution into undetectable matryoshka brains. All paths lead to the same outcome. Silence. And that silence isn't evidence of absence. It might be the most logical choice any intelligence ever makes. If this made you think differently about our place in the universe, hit subscribe and join the conversation. The silence might be louder than we ever thought.